So Search Console is a reporting suite that ties directly into Google Webmaster Tools. And what we're looking at here is more detail at specific to Google organic search. So we're not including any other organic search traffic and we're not including Google paid search here. So this is just looking at Google Analytics search. And we get about four different views here. The first one of which is landing pages that we're gonna go over. And that again is the organic search landing pages which uh, users visit. Countries, so we're gonna look at organic search as it relates to different countries. Devices, so we're gonna look at the different devices such as PC, tablet, and phone, and how they're affected by organic search. And last, we're gonna look at the specific queries that users are searching for. So let's start with landing pages. Texas this report in the left nav. We're going to go acquisition, search console, and then landing pages. So landing page report again shows us the top landing pages which are used from organic search. So we can get a feeling for which landing pages are most important in driving traffic to our website. So looking at some specific examples, when we just see the backslash, we know this is the home page. So we know the home page acted as a landing page when we want to look at the click stat about 969 times. Um, Impressions refers to the number of times that the home page has appeared in Google search results. So Um, This just means that somebody queried something and our page appeared on the search results page. Uh, It does not indicate that they interacted with us in any way. So this gives us a general idea of, you know, how much visibility we have. It's really the clicks, though, that identify how many people click through and generated traffic for our website. Um, We can see some other things such as click through rate or average position. So we know that our home page for all of the terms that it ranks for um, on average ranks 24. Um, Not particularly useful metric in many cases, but good to know. Um, and then of course we get we can tie that directly with conversion data. So we know that our homepage from an organic standpoint, you know, is responsible for a couple thousand dollars in revenue from this particular time period. Um, again, as with other reports, we can toggle over and look at newsletter subscriptions as well. And then as we go down the list, we're going to see other landing pages. It looks like uh, the page that's got the next in terms of impressions would be a, a makeup set page that we have uh, and all of the related metrics. And um, we have a coupons page our main shopping page, um, different uh, category pages. So uh, we kind of use this uh, as a starting point to get an idea for what landing pages are getting impressed the most and driving revenue. And uh, that can give us some ideas about new content to create. Search Console Countries Report. The Search Console's country report focuses on the different countries and which are driving the most organic traffic. To access this report, we're going to go Acquisition, Search Console, and then Countries. So in this view, we take that Google organic search traffic and we can break it out by country to see what countries are responsible for the most traffic. Uh, In our example, again, a US-based site, United States is driving about 60% of organic search traffic from Google. Um, And then this is interesting, the UK is actually driving about 10%. If you remember in previous reports that we looked at, we do actually get a few orders uh, and a good amount of traffic from the UK. So this is part of uh, part of the explanation as to why it appears that we rank well over there. Um, and it will tie again into business decisions of, you know, now that we know that we're ranking well in the UK already, should we try to, should we try to monetize that more? Should we try to do more to cater to that traffic? Um, I think for the most part, this uh, for smaller websites isn't particularly relevant. Um, these, unfortunately, you cannot drill down very far. Um, we can drill into the United States uh, by clicking on it, um, but what we get there is uh, specific landing pages, and we do not get things like the city or state or anything like that. Um, so for the most part, the the country's page is one that you know is nice to look at for a lot of businesses if you're multinational, um, if you're facilitating a number of different countries and a number of different languages, this becomes a very useful report. Uh, smaller businesses, um, not so much. Search Console Devices. The Devices Report is going to focus on Google Organic Search and the specific types of devices users are using. So to access this report, we're going to go Left Nav, Acquisition, and then Devices. So here come our device categories again. That's Desktop versus Mobile. And again, that's your smartphone versus Tablet. Self-explanatory. And we're going to see the different impressions, clicks, and conversions for each. Um, So for desktop, for example, we saw about 34,000 impressions, about 500 clicks. 29 transactions and about 1,400 in revenue. We can compare that to mobile, which has far fewer impressions. Has uh, 483 clicks, 13 transactions, and $748 in revenue. 
Um, what we're seeing again here is that mobile tends to convert a little bit less. Um, some other things to notice is that in general, mobile, mobile traffic um, can drive a much higher click rate um, just with the way things display on mobile devices. Um, in this particular example, our mobile click rate is uh, you know, probably about three times that of desktop. Um, I think some of the takeaways here uh, and some of the key things to focus on are um, because we're looking only at Google organic search traffic, are we seeing a, a solid amount of traffic from mobile? Um, and if we're not, you know, is our mobile web again is our website friendly to mobile? Are we being penalized for some reason because our website is not mobile friendly? Um, and then obviously once that traffic is getting here, how is it converting? So in this example, we do know that mobile isn't converting quite as high. That may be inevitable, but it may be something as well where we want to, you know, drill into mobile, for example. And this is going to break it down by landing page and now look at each of these landing pages. We know that the home page would be the first one to address. You know, can we look at the home page on a mobile device and does it look the way we want it to? Can we clean it up a little bit and, you know, make the calls to action a little bit stronger? Um, you know, that sort of thing, sort of analysis. That's an overview of the devices report in Search Console. Search Console queries report. So the queries report takes a look at what the individual is searching for and gives us some basic Google Webmaster Tools data. So this is a lot less tied to uh, specific Google Analytics data. It's more, more looks like data you get right out of Google Webmaster Tools. So to access this report, you're going to go Acquisition, Search Console, and then Queries. What we get on the left-hand column of the query report are the specific query which was searched. So th this individual, or actually these 6,518 searches were done using the term mineral makeup. Um, we know that we got about 63 clicks from that term. We know that our click-through rate was a little less than a percent and our average position is 23. So what we want to think about here is, okay, we've, we've got actually a good amount of traffic considering that we're on the third page of search results. Um, you know, maybe there are some things we can do to rank better for mineral makeup. Um, this is something we should put a focus on. We can't tie this directly to behavior, but we can get a feeling for, you know, what, where the biggest opportunities are. See other things like mineral cosmetics, for example, seven clicks on that. Again, not a lot of them, but we may want to generally strengthen our theme there. Um, as we scroll down this report for this particular example, um, we do see like we have an average ranking of one for the term cheap mineral makeup. And uh, again, only 700 impressions, you know, peanuts compared to some of these top terms here, the number of clicks is much higher just because our ranking is a lot better. You know, see a 13% click rate. So we know that uh, we know that some fundamentals of organic search are that, uh, you know, getting into the top two or three positions uh, is night and day different than anything else. So even being back at five or six oftentimes doesn't mean a lot of traffic, um, even for high volume stuff. So we really want to focus on or what the big opportunities are. We know that the terms like mineral makeup are relevant to us um, and that we're not ranking terribly for them. So we could, you know, take a look at that and, you know, really put a, an effort into ranking better for those types of terms. Um, and there's just some different ways to think about this report. I think the last thing uh, we did want to mention is the whole not set, which appears here. And this is a, basically a privacy issue. Um, there's a certain portion of clicks. Uh, and in most cases, it's, uh, it's about half of all the clicks that Google will not give you data on. And this is for privacy purposes. Um, so you can sort of think of this like a bucket of keywords, which um, because each of them are searched uh, so little, um, it could be you could potentially personally identify somebody who searched it. So um, what Google does then is just kind of throw it all into a bucket of not set. So this is essentially a bucket of, you know, could be thousands of keywords that Google's not going to give you data on. Um, so that's not particularly helpful, but we do have data on a number of other keywords and they tend to be the higher volume ones.